So today we shall be studying a new subject that is geotechnical engineering. Geotechnical engineering, the other name of geotechnical engineering is soil mechanics. Geotechnical engineering, the other name of uh, geotechnical engineering is soil mechanics. Before starting the subject itself, I will ask you a very good question. Can anyone tell me who is the father of geotechnical engineering? Can anyone answer? Who is the father of geotechnical engineering or soil mechanics? Yes, he is none other than Karl von Terzaghi. This is his full name. Karl von Terzaghi. Karl von Terzaghi is known as the father of soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering. Now coming to the year wise weightage of the subject. I hope so you know the uh, gate syllabus correctly. You know all the subjects. This is the subject which is having the maximum weightage. This is the subject which is having the maximum weightage. What is the average weightage? On and around you will get around 13 to 15 marks. On an average you will get 13 to 15 marks from this subject that is soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering. Not hope you not the, person, the people who want to get a good score or good rank in gate, gate, they cannot skip the subject that is geotechnical engineering. You have to be perfect in this one. And remi remember one thing, scoring these 15 marks is easy. Is easy. Provided there are two things that you have to concentrate here. Why this subject is given uh, so much of a weightage? Why for geotechnical engineering a lot of weightage is given? The main thing is that there are a lot of concepts. There are a lot of concepts, many concepts. Plus, there are a lot of formulae. There are a lot of formulae. You have to remember everything here. Especially, you have to remember the formulas and the concepts here. If you are perfect in all the formulas and concepts, then you can solve any kind of problem in geotechnical engineering and you can score this 13 to 15 marks very easily. So, as I start the class, you remember whatever the topics which I complete today. So, today if you are uh, free at night, you just go through once, then try to solve more number of problems from your workbook, whatever you are having. Now let us see what are the chapters included. Sorry, we shall see the references books. Reference books are also important for us. So I think so, you people are all from India. I don't prefer any references book for any other uh, subject. No need to study any uh, sub uh, test books. If you have any doubt, just go through some points that is more than sufficient in other subjects. But when you come to soil mechanics that is geotechnical engineering, you should have a reference book. You should have a reference book. The standard book for soil mechanics is Bowell's. Bowell's is the standard book which we refer. But it will be very difficult for you to understand this Bowell's. You know we are Indians. We, know, we need simplified formula and simplified uh, results. According to me, you can go through this uh, Soil Mechanics and Foundation Engineering by B.C. Punmia and Soil Mechanics by Aurora. These two are good books. There are a lot of numericals in these two books. There are a lot of uh, objective questions in Aurora. You can find many IES questions, previous IES questions, 
all those things in bc punya so try to have one reference book for soil mechanics it will help you i prefer bc punya or arora vns murthy is also a very good book but thing is that it is too bulky you cannot understand anything in bowels it is difficult if you are your english is really good top class then you can understand understand from bowels otherwise no so i prefer these books in your engineering if you have uh, used any other book which you feel it is easy you can refer it's your wish now why to study geotechnical engineering what is the importance of geotechnical engineering whatever the concepts i explain that is more than sufficient geotechnical engineering see here if you are a structural engineer if you are a bridge engineer highway engineer anything anything you may be any kind of engineer you can do masters in any uh, thing but remember geotechnical engineering plays very important role in all these things suppose if i take a structural engineer or a bridge engineer you know they are mainly related to structures so as they construct a structure they require if you consider a structural engineer and a bridge engineer they are related to construction of huge structures where they are going to construct they are going to construct with respect to soil only they have to construct in the soil layer itself they have to provide the foundation to provide the foundation they should know the properties of soil there without that they cannot do anything if it is a sandy soil if there is a consider two types of soil a sandy soil and a red soil you cannot provide same kind of foundation there in both the cases when you come to the highway engineer you know he is responsible for pavement of roads and all you should know which type of soil is there so basically every engineer should have a basic knowledge in geotechnical engineering because of that this is the second reason why there is more weightage for geotechnical engineering in gate at least you should know the basics for a structural engineer and a bridge engineer the bearing capacity of soil is one of the important terminology which he requires for the design now next thing the whole syllabus geotechnical engineering i have divided into 12 chapters or units now here in these uh, first six chapters you will get one question from first three topics you will get one question from this permeability and seepage analysis this is not a small chapter permeability and seepage analysis it is a very huge chapter again i have further divided into four chapters there we shall see when we discuss that chapter next stress distribution you may get a question not sure only 20% chances consolidation and compaction the most important chapter we see consolidation 99.99% you will get one question from this consolidation 99.99% sure you will get a question on consolidation okay what are the next chapters shear strength stability of slopes lateral earth pressure bearing capacity pile foundation so here from this first three you will get one question from bearing capacity you may get one question 90% sure from pile foundation you may get a question 90% sure 
this is not so important topic subsurface exploration many theoretical things are there very few formulae which are important introduction to soil mechanics is a completely theoretical one theoretical one now remember here this is the basic chapter which is important you may not get a question from this chapter that is uh, second chapter funda fundamental definitions and relationships but i will tell you one thing if you uh, don't know these things that is fundamental definitions and relationships you cannot do anything in soil mechanics second chapter is the most important one because these are the fundamental things you should know all the definitions you should be perfect in definitions ratios formulae etc etc first three topics are somewhat boring nothing i can do about that one after that when we start with permeability the classes will be more really interesting from permeability the classes are interesting till here more or less there are many theoretical things and there are formulae only which you have to buy at nothing much to understand in these first three topics but remaining things whatever are there from fourth chapter onwards it is completely concepts let us start now first thing what is soil we shall start with the first chapter that is introduction to soil mechanics chapter 1 Okay, what is soil now? Can anyone define me soil in rough words? If I ask a farmer, what he will say? So, soil, soil is nothing but a material. According, he will say it is a material which helps me in growing crops. That is according to a farmer. The same thing. If you ask a doctor, what he will say? He will think, 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 then he will say, "Hey, what is that? Yeah, simple question. It is a material, na? It is a material." it is a layer on earth surface other than that he cannot explain anything the same thing if he ask me what is pencil what is penicillin what shall i take what, what will be my answer if he, if a doctor ask me what is penicillin i will say injection sir the same thing if i ask a geologist if i ask a geologist he will answer me in a very good manner what he will say it is a material which is formed by rocks it is a material which is formed by rocks now according to civil engineer how we how we have to define the soil it is a loose material from weathering yes very good both the answers are correct soil is unconsolidated material formed by weathering or disintegration of rocks and also and also by decomposition of organic material this is one of the uh, definition which according to me which according to me it is good what is soil soil is unconsolidated material which is formed by weathering or disintegration of rocks and decomposition of organic material 